Hey, what's up YouTube? This is Penn. Welcome back to the channel. So I'm still covering the Samsung S90C. So in this demonstration, um, well, not really a demo, but I want to be showing off or giving a general overview of the game bar or the game menu when you're in a game, things like that on this television. All right. So we're still early on in the review process. So more information will come out as I go along and as I find new things with this television. So what I'm going to do on the Samsung remote, if I go to the far right and press and hold down on the play slash pause button, as you can see, it brings up the game bar system menu. Um, if you're in the game mode preset, which this is automatically set to. So, in this case, they have something called a game picture mode. So this is similar to what I found on my LG OLED. Now here you have standard RPG, RTS, FPS, sports, original. Oh no, that looks too bad. Like that standard. Maybe we'll do custom where you can set your own preset and custom too as well. All right, so this is pretty cool because it gives you many options if you want to just customize your picture. So I'm going to go RPG. That's RTS, FPS. Looks Those two look similar. Sports, original. Then you can do custom and you can set those up through here. So I like keeping mine on standard. I really don't use this as much. Um, if, if, if it looks like too oversaturated on video, that's just the way the, the camera is picking things up. I have the lights on so that it can give a better representation of the quality that you're seeing. But of course, you will never see a true one to one um, similar to real life. So this is screen ratio, um, that's grayed out, can adjust that. Mini map zoom, I don't plan on using that. Um, game motion plus, I have that off. Um, if I had to make an educated guess, maybe this is dealing with uh, the way the motion is perceived on this set um, to make it more fluid or whatnot. I have to research this more, but chances are nine times out of 10, I'm not going to be utilizing it. Then you got a virtual aim point. So if you want to set something you see on the screen here, it's like um, my aim point. So you got red, blue, white, and then you can edit the position and whatnot. That's distracting. I'm going to keep that off. If I'm playing a shooter, I'm going to aim, you know, normally or traditionally. All right, it's giving me my sound output. So everybody knows um, if you've been watching me for a bit, I'm rocking Nakamichi, the 7.2.4 uh, Dolby Atmos surround sound system. It's the sound bar um, to me that's on steroids and they have better models out there. So, but I, I got the 2022 model though. So I'm straight in that department. I'm liking what I have. You see down below, there's the input lag. It sets the fastest. It shows you the resolution, 3840 by 2160. It gives you the frame rate, um, FPS. Um, I think the standard when it comes to fighting games is that 60 is going to be the standard frame rate. HDR is currently off. This game does not support high dynamic range. And variable refresh rate is off as well. This game does not have VR support. So I will be bringing content in the near future where I'm showing off HDR gameplay, VR, um, my settings per se, and that's about it. Uh, there is a game mode setting. So my game mode is set to auto where it's gonna automatically um, Go to game mode when it detects a console or a game, things like that. 
I have surround sound on where I'm getting my scene based 3D surround sound for highly immersive gameplay. Uh, this may be more of a TV speaker exclusive setting, but I have it on regardless. Then you can play with the dynamic black equalizer, game motion plus settings. Um, I don't use that, so that's off. You can just do the blur reduction, the judder reduction, and clear motion. So, I don't know, perhaps you're playing like a 30 frames per second game on an OLED, and due to the instant response time of the pixels and things like that, perhaps you may want to come in here and adjust some things if the motion of the lower frame rate bothers you that much. Because this is a native 144 hertz panel. So, but for now, I have that off. Then there is something called Game Picture Expert. So I'm not in HDR. This is an HDR game, but my settings are basic. And then Game HDR is off because this is not an HDR title. All right. And that's really it in terms of my setup so far. This is for SDR. Um... But I am enjoying the television. I like the game bar or game menu, um, however you want to, you know, break it down. They have a help guide, which is cool. And to make this go away, you simply press and hold down on the play and pause on a Samsung remote. Well, actually, you can back out of it like that. You got to do the extra stuff. Just back out. Turn this up a little. And you see the visual notification on the TV on the left that's saying that you're bringing the volume up or down. All right, so that's about wraps up this video. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comment section. Until next time, peace out and thank you for watching. Goodbye.